Welcome back, everybody. This is Unconditional Surrender, me, myself, and I play through. Turn on my timer. Of the main event scenario, published by GMT Games, designed by Salvador Vasta, we are going to embark on the Western Operations phase of 1942, July. Um, it's pretty kind of much the same thing I did the last time. Uh, I'll just go ahead and bring up the faction card here and my national tracks. I'm going to spend two to activate the PEF and see if they get in a really good whack on the Africa army. They will activate and attack in place, so it costs them two. Um, they start off with plus one for British. The Germans can't put anything in. Um, they get plus two for their tanks, and then they will use the guy that's in the back, the fire that's farthest away that can barely reach, one, two, three, four, five, for another plus two, so I'm plus five, and the Germans are plus two because, hey, they're Germans. So, the British roll, 4 plus 5 is a 9, and the Germans roll, a 3 plus 2 is a 5. So a 9 to a 5 is only a DR. So this looks very much like what we did last time. Um, we're going to go and do it again. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5. So it has to be this guy is the airplane, and the other tanks marker comes out. We end up with the same thing, plus 5 to plus 2. British roll, a 6 plus 5 is an 11, and the Germans roll, a 4 plus 2 is a 6. So we go look at an 11 to a 6, and the Germans just barely made it to a DR. So they will retreat like they did the last time. The British will not take the hex. Um, they still have 6 movement points left. There's no zone of control because the guy's in the fort, and we'll just move back. Until I get a DD on the Africa army, it's not worth it for me to try and even set up an assault on Tobruk because I can't keep myself, um, since he was in supply to begin with, he can just replace himself. I need to chase the Africa army and or destroy it to the point where I know that it can't come back to um, defend. So if I can destroy the Africa army, even if I would be in low supply with the BEF, it would be worth it because then I would be able to isolate and start attacking Tobruk and possibly taking it out. So that's it for the western um my airport my bombers all beat up so i can't do that so i'm going to go to supply everything in england's in supply um everything in the boxes is in supply so we just need to come down here to the med i have to keep four units in supply like usual we know what that means this guy goes up two oh, if i can put a this guy gets two and this guy gets another two Now, don't know what that alarm was for. That was not my time alarm. Um, that keeps everybody in supply. No Italian attempts to uh, stop the supply of uh, Force H because it, would, it wouldn't do much. They'd end up in supply, and I would probably be at six sorties. So I'm just in a world of hurt with the Italians. Um, the British may get their wish just by forcing me to not be able to supply things. With all these sorties that I have on me, Germans are going to have to start giving up production points. So that's the Western Operations phase. Let's go on into the Soviet Operations phase and see if we can wrap this all up. Uh, Soviets don't really have a lot to do. They want to save as many production points as they can. They're in pretty good positions here as far as defending for Stalingrad. Um, what have they got on the faction card? Let's see what they've got to build. They have... Uh, wow. One, two, three, four, five regular armies, a shock army, a couple of armored units, which I don't think I need to build any more armor than what I have out right now. I think I just need to have numbers of bodies in the way. So to that end, I do need to move a couple guys out of city so I can just build them in place. So I'm going to spend a few production points to do that. Um, I've got 28. So I can move a few units, like I said, just kind of get them out of the way. Um, I'm going to move the second shock army back a space. That's a point. <laughs> it would help if I highlight the right units. Um, we're going to move the 50th. Ooh. 
No, that's only a two hex assault. If I had left the shock army here, I could have come one, two, a three hex assault on panzers at plus four, and they still have a retreat route. Is that really worth it? To stick a shock army and a flip tanks army, they'll both get flipped. But is too, uh, I have to think about this now. I'm looking at a possible three hex attack on the third panzer. I, you know what? I have another tanks marker. I'm going to do it. So they're going to assault here. I'm just going to highlight this because we're going to do it right away. And the 30th is going to move, and he's going to assault. And then I'm going to spend two more to bring the first guard, first uh, tank army. It goes one, two, three, four, five, and assaults. So now I can throw a tank on this guy. I still have a tanks marker. I'm going to throw a tanks marker here. Germans are plus four because they're plus two for German and plus two because they're armored. The Russians can start with uh, this guy, the tanks army, so he's plus two. Shock in fair weather adds plus two. First tanks armor, armor adds plus two. So I'm a plus six to a plus four. Eh, who knows? Maybe I get lucky. Make him take a step loss. So let's see what happens. The Russians roll. Four plus six is a ten, and the Germans roll. Four plus four is an eight. And a ten to an eight is just barely a diamond. We almost made them retreat. Oh, well. Well, that was worth it, I think. You had a fair chance of at least forcing them to retreat. Um, no, I don't need national tracks. I need the turn track. I'm going to put this tank down here so I can put it on the turn track. And there we go. We're on the turn track. Now, close that down. So that was one, two, three, four... I started at 28. I'm at 24. Do I really have anyone else to move? Um, I do want to move this armored unit. I'm going to build somebody in Stalingrad. So I'm thinking I just move him. Maybe to here? Or to here. Ah, let's move them to here. We want to tempt the Germans to do the German mistake and run for Granzi and Tiflis and Batam and Akastran and Stalingrad. Please run south. Let me cut off your armies. Uh, we know they won't do this. So that was two more. Um, puts me down to 22. Need to spend 12, and I want to have at least those five armies at 17, 18. So if there's a couple other units I want to move to get them out of cities, I think I'm going to move the 50th just so that I can place a unit in there. And then maybe I'll move one more guy someplace. Um, let's see, I need to have 12 for the airplanes, 5 infantry, that's 17, 18, 19, 20 would let me bring in a tank as well. Um, so if I just move one guy more, do I have anybody sitting in a city? He's not in a city, no infantry in that city, no infantry in that city. Oh, he's got a problem. He's got a problem. He's not in supply. And I don't want him to go into low supply. So I think... I don't want to give up the shock army position. And if I leave him there, then he guards this hex. I'm looking at moving the 51st. The 7th has zones of control to keep him from getting sort of a roundabout flank attack on the 4th shock army with his panzer. So, yeah, I think this will work. We're going to activate the f this is maybe the last activation. One, two, get the heck out of the line down the rail line. Oh, one down the rail line, excuse me. Two, three, and then four, five. Yes, the tenth has no retreat route, but he's also at least not in supply. No, he doesn't fail for to be in supply. So, those are my activations as the Russians. I'm done.
no attacks other than that one that I tried on the third Panzer, which failed. Just barely failed. I almost got to be able to retreat him and stick somebody in in 15th Army's nose. Um, I have to see how this goes here in this turn. Uh, I like to reset my stuff here. Okay, so that's the Russian. I'm checking the Russian supply. I think everybody else is in supply. Yeah, everybody's in supply. Oh, I know why I can't bring in the tanks army. I need to flip. I need one, two, three, four, five, six to flip. I might not flip an airplane. You know, I might not be able to flip an airplane. I need to get everybody at the front flipped face up. And then I need to build infantry. So I'm in a quandary there. Let me uh, have to think on how I'm going to spend my 20 production points for the Russians. Probably should not have done that attack. Could have saved a production point. Maybe even three. Oh well. Things you learn as you go, right? So the Russians are in supply. They can reset these markers. Um... Yeah, okay, so that's Russian's operations phase. We're doing well here on time. We've got almost half the time I allotted for this. So this is going to be a much faster turn than I thought it would be. I thought this clear weather turn would take forever. But a couple of slow, down, slow advances by the Germans, and uh, things just didn't take off. Maybe August will be better. Um, We'll see. Where am I at? There's no supply phase. There's nobody with a no supply marker, so we don't have to worry about that. Replacements, the Axis. Um, the Axis has 16. So one is here at Kursk. So we get rid of that. Um, I do have an infantry and a garrison. Infantry and a garrison. The infantry would be nice to get on the board and move it over here to the east because I really kind of need it. But that means I lose. Well, I'm going to do the 12, the, the front airplanes here. Because the German, the Russian airplanes are getting away from me and chasing them off. Okay, so that was 12. So now I have three left with the Germans. Um, let's go do the Italians right away. Three left with the Germans. I'm not sure if I should build the two infantry and waste the build production point. I don't have anything flipped to build up, I don't think. There's nothing in the east. Let's double check the west. I don't have anybody people floating around here that's not garrisons. Nope, those are all garrisons. He's only got one sortie. He could bring down the convoy. Or I could build two ground units. <sighs> you know, I think I'm going to save it for ground units. It's really bad. Or I could take this down too and just forgo the ground units. So if I build it in August, it'll get there strategically redeploy in August. Now I gotta build the ground units. I need the ground more than I need the convoy at this point. Okay. Gonna save it, gonna build stuff. West replacements. Oh, yes. Let's start off with. Uh, Force H, that's 5 of my 20, so I'm down to 15. Um, three, six, oops. Three six for those, so I'm down to nine. I really want to 
want to get these airplanes going too. Um, he'll come down three. Down two, rather, for three. That's six. So then it's this fleet would leave me two. I don't have anything. Oh, I have a Canadian to build. So yes, we'll bring down this fleet by two. And that leaves me two points, which will let me build the UK thing. Um, I need to go check the Americans. I think they have, yes, since they don't actually have production point tracks, they just spend it as they want to. Make sure I don't have any other Americans floating around here. He doesn't have anything. No Americans in there. No Americans in there. No Americans in London. Or Gibraltar. Or Malta. Or in the Middle East, right? I don't have anything in the Middle East from American. Nope. Okay, so that's the British replacements, Soviet replacements. And this is that problem I have. I definitely want to get these guys back to full. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six. That put me down 14. If I were to build five infantry, or four infantry and a shock, let's say. Four infantry and a shock would leave me nine, would let me up three airplanes. Right? That's what we'll do. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. I'm going to bring up three airplanes. Or I can just build a shock and an infantry. Put the infantry here. Put the shock. The Germans are really light on total number of units. Now we're going to build all the airplanes back. We're just going to build two ground units. So let's take back our airplanes. The reason why I say that is I'm looking at this and it's like I can throw an infantry unit here and the shock unit here or the infantry unit here and the shock unit here in Rezev. So I'll have three shock units and sort of facing the whole center army. And he can always move back to the south if he needs to because he's right on rail lines. And that kind of, I have so many units right now compared to the number of German units here in the south to attack me that I think he's kind of limited on what he can do. So just space is working for me at this point. He just doesn't have the ability to hold all the space. So I think that's worth it. That's the replacement phase. There are no upgrades yet. There will be next turn. Mobilization for the Axis. Um, they saved their three so that they could spend two to put their two ground units in play. So they're going to do that. Um, and they're going to be placed... What did he pull the card too far? Um, the infantry unit will go like in Konigsberg, and the seventh garrison will go in. Uh, oh, let's put it in Posen, for lack of a better place to put it. Oh, no, I think I'm going to have to put it in Bremen. Well, he doesn't have anything there yet. I'll see it coming. I can always strategically redeploy back. Now, let's go put it in Posen. Okay. That's the mobilization for Axis. Did I spend the Italian points for replacements? No, I did not. Time out. <laughs> got to go do the Italians here. Um, well, they got to try and ship. So three on the airplane. Three on this. I 
I can go down to zero. Um, it's three six. I could leave this one out and take down this fleet to three. He's at two, so he's a zero. I'm a minus three. He'd be at a probably a plus one to a minus two. Just trying to figure out which fleet I should do or if I should just give up the ghost. I think I'll do this one. Give up the ghost over in Benghazi. Try and get through with one shot. And that's ten. So and I don't think I have anything to build for the Italians. Nope. Got to give a production point to the Italians next turn, whether I like it or not. Uh, okay. Uh, Western mobilization. Why did I take that down? I needed to spend the two. Because he's going to bring the Canadian. Up here in England. Build the Canadian. Somewhere here in England. Get these tracks out of my way. Um, do I put them in Plymouth? Do I put them in Southampton? Do I put them in Plymouth? Do I put them in Southampton? Or better yet, I can just put them in here, but then I have to. That's one, two, invade there. Whereas if I have them in Plymouth, maybe I can swap fleets around. Yeah, I'll put them in Plymouth. For now. And the Americans, up here in the East North America box, just built this. Don't have to, I just put them in Florida, or South, Southern U.S., someplace. Okay. Then we go to the Russians. Uh, their stuff over here. Um, they only have two points, so they're going to build their shock army. And an infantry army. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the infantry here with that airplane. And the shock army, since he's flipped, will go back here as sort of the backstop until he gets replenished next turn. And that's the Soviet mobilization phase. Nobody's talking, so diplomacy phases are there. They haven't conquered Germany yet, so the game isn't over yet. And that's going to take us to the end of turn phase. So turn track pops up, and we grab the faction card, put it over here to the corner. Try to put the current turn track over this way, so it's a little bit easier to deal with. And we're going into this phase. The Germans get their tanks. Oh, they get their service action back. Oh joy! Something to get annihilated by the British and American fleets. And they get their submarines, which is the more important part of that. Um, the Russians get tanks. Oh, I don't want all that. Tanks markers. Ultra goes to the British. And the Russians get some upgrades. They get the first guards, and they get the second guards. And then the United States gets an airplane to build and a convoy to build. So they'll be doing that next turn. And that's the end of July. So, that's the end of July. I'm just about at the end of my time for this particular segment, so things worked out rather well. I'm going to get it in two segments this time instead of three. This is Unconditional Surrender, me, myself, and I playthrough of the main event scenario. I'm Dren608. Please leave comments so you can tell me what I'm doing good, what I'm not doing good, so I can try to improve these videos for everybody. And if you like what you see, please subscribe so you don't miss any further episodes. And we will see you next time with the August 1942 turn. Bye-bye.